Hey there movie fans, this is shelf 25 of my DVD collection. Starting off with a Disney classic, The Little Mermaid. And here we have Guy Ritchie's debut movie, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Still a great film, this one. And this is also a great film. Uh, Lonely Are the, Are the Brave with Kirk Douglas. Jenna Rollins, uh, Walter Matthau. Uh This is one of those films about um, you know the, the the end of the era of the cowboys. You know, um, yeah, great great film, great film, absolutely. Long Pigs. Now this is a highly underrated, uh, uh, low budget thriller. Um, as you can see, it is. It has the signatures of the actor and one of the directors, the two directors, Chris Power and Nathan Hines, and the actor's name is Anthony Alviano. And, um, you know, he's the one who plays a serial killer, a cannibalistic serial killer. And there's this film crew that follows him and makes a documentary about them. So it's, it's very reminiscent to a Belgian. Uh, film from the early 90s called Man Bites Dog, uh, which was you know shot in, in black and white. Um, yeah, very very reminiscent to that one, but this is um, yeah very underrated. It, 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 unfortunately, it didn't get at, at as much attention as it deserved. Long pigs, but the, really good, really really good uh, low budget movie. This one. And this also came with the uh, the DVD, by the way. This is uh, Anthony's own organic jerky beef, um, which you know, it, it was also signed by the actor and, and one of the directors. And here's a, a shot of the beef. Now, the question is, of course, is it human meat? I seriously do not know. Uh, anyway, this is... Um, Looney Tunes Golden Collection, four disc uh, DVD collections. Yeah, I love the Looney Tunes. Oh. Uh, Nicholas Cage in Lord of War, very good film. Bill Murray in Lost in Translation. Uh, this is the only good movie by Sofia Coppola. The rest are mediocre, in my opinion, anyway. Now here is. Um, you know, the, the 1925 uh, silent classic, The Lost World, based on a book by Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I, I believe uh, uh, Willis O'Brien was responsible for the stop motion um, effects. Uh, no, it doesn't say. I, I believe he is. Oh yeah, yeah, he is. There he is. Willis O'Brien. He's the one who uh, who um, worked on the original King Kong from 1933. You know, he's he's the guy who brought King Kong to life with the stop motion effects. Uh, lucky number seven. Uh, Western classic, Lust for Gold, with uh, um, Glenn Ford and Ida Lupino. This is also a great film by Fritz Lang, M with Peter Lorre. Yeah, brilliant film this one. MASH, uh, yeah, very funny film, very funny movie by uh, Robert Altman. And here I have um, two DVD sets of MASK, which is an anime series that I grew up in, grew up on uh, in the 1980s. So this is volume one, and here we have volume two. Yeah, very nice. The Machinist with Christian Bill. This is where he, uh, where he was skin o over bones. You know, it, it, it still amazes me how 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 far he went for this role. The guy is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Mad Dark and Glory, um, yeah, pretty good film.
De Niro and Bill Murray. Pretty good film. Uma Thurman, of course. Madigan. This is a film by Don Siegel, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, the, yes, it is. Pretty good film. Um, Richard Whitmark. Henry Fonda. And here we have Orson Welles' second uh, film, The Magnificent Ambersons, uh, which, you know, it is it is a wonderful movie, but it's, it's quite a shame that um, they butchered it, you know, they changed the ending. Uh, you know, originally Orson Welles had a completely different ending in mind. Um, I'm still hoping that they, somewhere in the world there is a copy of Orson Welles' original uh, cut, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that we will never see it again. But still, there is a little hope. Um, the Magnificent Seven. Yeah, classic, classic western. And then here we have Magnolia, which is a terrific film by Paul Thomas Anderson. It is a beautiful uh, Italian film with a beautiful uh, actress, Monica Bellucci, uh, Melena. Denzel Washington in Man on Fire. I recently saw the the original film. This is actually a remake. Uh, for those who does, for those who didn't know that. The original star is uh, uh, Scott Clan. Uh, that, that was good. That was good. Uh, but I, to be honest, I kind of prefer this version by uh, Tony Scott. You know, Tony Scott o almost directed the original as well, but uh, somebody else ended up directing it. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, terrific um, performance by Frank Sinatra in The Man with the Golden Arm. One of the first films that deals with uh, drug addiction. And Sinatra again in The Mysterian Candidate. Uh, this, this is a brilliant uh, political thriller, this one. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. John Frankenheimer directed this one. Really good. It is a, a beautiful, um, but hard to watch at time, uh, Spanish film, Mar and Den Adentro, with Javier Bardem, The Sea Inside, which is the original, or the, the English title. This is a great film, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, with Russell Crowe. They, you know, they, they, they should have made a series of films of this, uh, of this one it is based on on a book a series of books i, I believe that, uh, peter weir the director um took elements of two books um yeah they they, they should have made more films of this this is absolutely terrific and i i love russell crowe's character in this one yeah terrific film here is woody allen's match point which really surprised me a lot, especially the uh, the ending. The ending just, yeah, that, that absolutely stunned me. Um, Matt Stigman, talking about the surprising endings. Um, Ridley Scott's, one of Ridley Scott's underrated films in my opinion. Uh, yeah, Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage is really good in this one. And here is The Matrix. Now this is the first DVD I ever uh, received. You know, I, I got this on Christmas of 1999. And, uh, you know, blue, excuse me, not blue, a DVD uh, was brand new and it, it just made its uh, uh, entry into the world, you know, and... Um, Everybody was getting a DVD player because of the Matrix. It it really the Matrix really started the whole the whole you know uh, DVD phenomenon you know and um, yeah I, I still got it and I'm not going to get rid of it. I have it on on I have the movie on Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray. So if I want to see the movie, I'm going to use uh, I'm I'm going to watch it on those 
formats, but this is, you know, a special place in my collection. You know, the first DVD ever. It's not the first DVD I've ever seen because that is, that is um, Ray Harryhausen's uh, Jason and the Argonauts. I actually rented that from the uh, video store. Um, but this one is, is, you know, like I said, the, the one that I received uh, myself. And, um, yep, it's, I still got it. I still got it. And here is another DVD edition of The Matrix, which also contains uh, the, Mat the Matrix Revisited documentary. Do yeah, documentary. And the last one of row one of the first row is March or Die with Gene Hackman, Terence Hill, and uh, Max von Sydow. Yep. Okay, now let's take a look at the DVDs of the second row of shelf 25. And the first one is a beautiful Korean film, Il Mare. Um, yeah, beautiful film with, with a very surprising ending. This is Marooned, uh, science fiction um, film with, with really good cast. You have Gene Hackman there, Richard Crenna. This is James Franciscus, uh, Gregory Peck is also in it. I haven't seen this film in a long time, so I really need to uh, revisit it soon. Directed by John Sturgis, who did... Um, you know, The Magnificent Seven and The Great Escape. Yeah, I really need to uh, rewatch this. Here we have The Mark of Zorro with Tyrone Powell and uh, Basha Red Baron. Yep, fun movie this one. Max Havela, this is a, um, a Dutch classic with, as you can see him there, Rutger Hauer in a um, co-starring role. Me, myself, and Irene. Uh, it's called with the uh, ooh, little glary there. Sorry about that. My tickler cover there. Here we have Peter Jackson's uh, Meet the Feebles, which is kind of like the uh, the fucked up version of the Muppets. Uh, this is the girl with red hair. Uh, a Dutch World War Two. Drama based on a true story. Um, yeah, the, the the transfer of this DVD is really bad, really bad. So I, I really hope there's there's going to be a remastered version on Blu-ray. Uh, Memento, uh, Jonathan Nolan's um, second movie. Uh, yeah, really good, good film. And this is John Carpenter's uh, Memoirs of an Invisible Man with Jeffy Chase and Daryl Hannah. Now this is a great anime anthology, Memories. Yeah, this is getting a, a Blu-ray release pretty soon. Um, but yeah, great, great, absolutely a great animation. Uh, Men in Black, uh, I, I got this because of the you know, same reason why I got the uh, Ghostbusters DVD, it's because of the visual commentary, you can see the, uh, the I believe he, this is uh, Tom Lee Jones and the director, Barry Sonnenfeld, at the foreground of the screen, the, 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 um, the Blu-rays doesn't have these, uh, these visual commentaries, and here is um, Men in Black 2, I have part three on the Blu-ray for those who are asking, um, or those who are wondering, I should say that. Um, Merlin, this is um, one of those, you know, three-hour fantasy films that was produced for television with an incredible all-star cast. Sam Neill, Helena Bonham Carter, there's John Gilgut, Lutger Howard right there. Ooh, uh, Miranda Richardson, Isabella uh, 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 Rosalini, I would forget her name there. Martin Short, also with James Earl Jones. Yeah, this this is a fun movie. Now I am a Metallica fan, so I got two DVDs of this uh, of this band. So here is the um, 
you know, this is the S&M concert on DVD and here's the terrific documentary Metallica some kind of monster here we have um, Eddie Murphy's best movie of the 1990s in my opinion Metro yeah really good really good film this is the Miami Vice movie underrated un underrated uh, director's edition um, you know, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good film. Uh, Michael Jackson video greatest hits history or his story. You know, just got the uh, the, the classic uh, music videos. Um, you know, bad thriller, which is in my opinion still the best music video ever made. Billy Jean, black and white. Yeah, and here is. Volume 2 with some more music videos there Mighty Joe Young um, this is the remake of the um, Willis O'Brien uh, Ray Harryhausen original from the 1950s I believe it was yep very nice and here we have the Mighty Peking Man this is the Shaw Brothers version of uh, King Kong really it was put out by Quentin Tarantino's uh, short-lived distribution label uh, Rolling Thunder Pictures named after the movie Rolling Thunder and um, this movie will also be included on the um, uh, Shaw Scope uh, box set that Arrow Video will be releasing in December and of course I've already pre-ordered a copy so I'm very much looking forward to that um, oh, th th this is an enjoyable movie by the way uh, Million Dollar Baby uh, yeah great uh, Clint Eastwood film also with the uh, CD soundtrack there now this is a wonderful uh, documentary about John Milius John Milius is pretty much says it here the true story of the greatest filmmaker you never know you never knew excuse me um, yeah, he, he's the screenwriter of Apocalypse Now he directed uh, also the screenwriter of Dirty Harry and, and Magnum Force uh, he directed Conan the Barbarian Red Dawn um, yeah, he, he was. He, he's terrific. He's absolutely terrific. He's close friends with Spielberg, Lucas, and Scorsese. Spielberg, you know, whenever Spielberg has a problem with a scene or dialogue, he always calls up Milius, and uh, he, you know, Milius fixes it for him. Um, yeah, did, highly recommended. Highly recommended. An interesting documentary about an interesting uh, filmmaker, John Milius. Ah, this this is such a lovely film, uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. You know, forget about the remake with Richard Attenborough. Or even though Richard Attenborough was terrific as Santa Claus, but nothing beats the original with um, um, what's his name, Edwin Gwen. Yeah, Edmund Edmund Gwen as Santa Claus and a very young Natalie Wood there. Yeah, that's such a one wonderful, lovely movie. The Miracle Worker and Bancroft, Petty Duke. Um, yeah, the the acting is just top notch, especially from Petty Duke. She plays a girl who is a mute and she's deaf and and um, blind, and it's an amazing performance that she delivers here. I, I believe she won an Oscar for this one, if I'm correct. Yeah. Oh, and and Bancroft also won an Oscar as well. Yeah, really good. And and Petty Duke, by the way, she's uh, she's the mother of Sean Astin, you know, uh, Sam from uh, Lord of, Lord of the Rings. But um, yeah, very very beautiful drama, very well acted drama. Uh, this is one of Ron Howard's best movie, The Missing. Um, yeah, superb western with Kate Blanchett and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Now this this is a wonderful film. The Mission, Robert De Niro, Jeremy Irons. 
Yeah, this is wonderful. The soundtrack by Ennio Morricone. What a film this is. Written by Robert Bolt. And Robert Bolt is the screenwriter of uh, Dr. Zhivago and uh, Lawrence of Arabia. So, um, yeah. An epic film, this one. Mission to Mars. You know what? I, I, I kind of like it. I really do. This this was one of the Mars films that came out uh, around the same time. You know, you have this one and Red Planet with Val Kilmer and Carrie Ann Moss. Red Planet was okay, but honestly, I kind of enjoyed this a little more. Um, yeah, it has some bad CGI at the end, but um, I enjoyed it overall, you know. Uh, this is a great one. Mississippi Burning, Gene Hackman, Willem Dafoe. Yeah, great, great film. And here we have the uh, Missouri Traveler with uh, Lee Marvin. And uh, this is the kid from Shane, by the way. Uh, the Money Pit. Um, yeah, very funny movie with uh, Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. And here we have Moratory with Marlon Brando and Joel Brenner, a uh, World War II movie. And here we have the Mr. Bean collection. Yeah, you gotta love Mr. Bean, right? And finally, off shelf 25, is this World War II drama, Mrs. Miniver, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1940. Two. Yeah. So that is it for shelf 25. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back soon with shelf 26. So stay tuned for that. Bye for now.